in a class of 60 along with English as a common Major in both mathematics and physics. 15 major in both physics and biology. See that it's a question based on what Venn diagram? Concept of Venn diagram. So let's try to draw a figure here. Let's say this circle represents all the students who are fit for maths. This one for physics. And the last one for biology. In that uh, the combined average marks in English of students of these two majors is 50. What is the maximum possible number of students who major only in physics? Let's take the A equal to number of students who will major only in maths. For physics, I'll take B. For biology, we'll take C. Now it's given that six students major in both mathematics and physics. Mathematics and physics. Okay. No one majors in both mathematics and biology. Mathematics and biology, this intersection must be zero. So this will also become zero. It's given that six students major in both mathematics and physics. So this part will become six. Then 15 major in both physics and biology. So this part will become 15. And all the students will take English as a common subjects. Total number of students per 16. So can we say A plus B plus C plus 6 plus 15 must be equal to 60. So A plus B plus C is equal to 60 minus 21, that is 39. So this is sum of all the three variables here. What else is given here? Uh, the average score, mark scored by students majoring in mathematics. Majoring in mathematics must be A plus 6 is 45. So how do we write it? A plus 6 students, each of them will get 45. And that of students measuring biology is 60. Biology will give you C plus 15. So that's a C plus 15. Each student will get 60 marks so into 60. And the next line says that the combined average mark in English of students of these two majors is 50. That means the average of these two. So it's a plus divided by how many students? A plus 6 for maths and C plus 15 for biology. This average is given equal to 50. So you get a new equation in terms of what A and C. When you solve this equation, you will get A plus, or I can say that A, 5A is equal to 10C plus 120. If you cancel out all the terms by 5, we will get A is equal to 2C plus 24. Now what do you want? Maximum possible number of students who major only in physics. That means you want to maximize this B. But the sum is fixed. If you want to maximize B, in that case, we'll have to minimize both A and C here. So I'm looking for the minimum value of A and C and the maximum value of B. So if you look at this equation number one, it says that A is twice of C plus 24. So let's try to minimize these values. So if I minimize this C, I'll put C equal to zero here. If you put C equal to zero, what will happen? You'll get A equal to zero plus 24, that means 24. So the minimum possible value of C will become 0. Minimum possible value of A will become 24. So the maximum possible value of C, B, I'll put A equal to 24 here, C equal to 0. So I'll get B equal to how much? 39 minus 24, that is equal to 15. So the maximum possible value of the B, that is students who will measure only in physics along with English, will become how much? 15. So my answer is fourth option.